first off, thank you so much uh, for making the time to, to do this interview. Uh, my name is Arun Krishna. I'm the head of lung cancer uh, commercial here in the U.S. for AstraZeneca. When you look at the lung cancer uh, diagnosis, you notice that in the U.S. and globally, most patients are diagnosed late and they are in the metastatic setting, 70 plus percent of patients. And so that itself is the first challenge you see is when people get diagnosed with lung cancer, they're already in a late stage setting. And when they're diagnosed in a late stage setting, it's critically important that we tailor the treatments based on their, you know, the, the subtypes, whether they have a biomarker mutation, yes or no. And, and if you're able to do that, uh, you know, really upfront, then you have now uh, a lot of treatment options uh, for these patients to, uh, to improve uh, their survival and live a meaningful life. You know, uh, just before talking about Flora 2 trial, I'll just take you back uh, five years ago where, you know, we got approval for Tigriso as a monotherapy uh, for patients with EGFR positive null small cell lung cancer. And this was truly a game changer, both from an efficacy standpoint, but also from a, from a safety and a convenience standpoint. We still believe uh, that Tigriso monotherapy will be the future standard of care, given some of the attributes that we have already highlighted uh, earlier. Now, we also recognize and realize that some of these patients who are diagnosed in the metastatic setting with EGFR positive might require a little bit more intense treatment. And so we started the trial with ozimertinib uh, with uh, chemotherapy, which is a combination of platinum-based uh, uh, combination of pemetexid and plus our plus carbo, uh, carbo uh, cisplatin. So we had the opportunity. Uh, so it was a first in terms of how, what, how the study was conducted. It was a full randomized phase three uh, study design enrolling 700 plus patients where we looked at a uh, arm where you had Tegriso plus chemotherapy uh, and then compared to a Tegriso monotherapy. Um, we had the opportunity um, and we are very excited about sharing the top level results at WCLC earlier this year, actually last month where we showed a, a real clinically and statistically significant benefit of the combination versus the monotherapy of a day, over nine months uh, and with a toxicity profile, which is quite similar to the mono arm. Look, as I said earlier, you know, we, we believe that, you know, there are certain groups of patients which might require an, a, a more intense form of, uh, of treatment. These were patients probably who are uh, of ECOG status 0 or 1. They're younger patients, more fitter. But what really stood out were really these two subtypes of patients, one with CNS metastases in the brain and one with a, uh, a mutation of L858R. And what we were able to show uh, through this trial is in both of these subtypes where you know disease progression happens quite rapidly for these patients, uh, we had a significant and very clinically meaningful uh, benefit uh, across both of these subtypes with this trial. Look, I mean, you know, uh, first and foremost, you know, patients getting diagnosed in the metastatic setting, you know, do not have long to, to live. And we are committed to ensure that, you know, patients in that area when diagnosed are able to have a long and a meaningful life. And I believe personally that Tigriso or ozimertinib is the backbone treatment for uh, most patients in this setting in first line. And now we have two options. You can have an option for patients where you give the monotherapy based on the convenience, the overall survival benefit, et cetera, et cetera. And for patients who require a little bit more of an intensive treatment with chemotherapy, especially the ones with CNS metastases, where you want to resolve much quicker or L858R, they have an option there with uh, as well. <laughs>